Hello! Today we will be learning about ordering decimals. So our learning target is we are learning to order decimals. So this means that we are going to have problems that look like this. They're going to say order from least to greatest. And you are going to have more than two decimals to compare. In this problem we have three. One in 78 hundredths, three in 76 hundredths, one in eight hundredths. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to compare and order them so that they look like this using comparison symbols. You should be able to say that 1 and 8 hundredths is less than 1 and 78 hundredths, which is less than 3 and 76 hundredths. So let's review. Most importantly, we need to go over our comparison symbols. I've noticed that some of us are still confusing what which one is greater than and which is less than. So back when you were little, you learned to use them like monsters or alligators, and you learned that the alligator likes to eat the bigger thing. So this is still a strategy that you can use if you need to. You can draw the little teeth into the comparison symbol. So greater than six is greater than four, the alligator, its mouth is open towards the bigger number. It's greater than. Six is bigger than four. Less than, the first number is smaller than the second number. So three is less than seven. And our last one is equal to. Eight is equal to eight and zero tenths. This just means that they are the same. They're worth the same amount. So eight is the same thing as saying eight and zero tenths. We also have to review how we compare decimals. So we learned three strategies to compare decimals. Our first strategy that we learned was using a model. In this problem, we compared 45 hundredths to 5 tenths. So we used a model and we colored in 45 hundredths. That's four full tenths and then five hundredths. On the right side, we have five tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. We can see here that 45 hundredths, this model has less shaded in than five tenths. So 45 hundredths is less than five tenths. So our first strategy that we learned was using models to compare. Our second strategy that we learned was how to use a number line to compare decimals. So in this problem, we are comparing 6 tenths to 38 hundredths. To use a number line, we first draw a line and we break it up into tenths, so into 10 parts. We label the number line. Remember, it was a good strategy after you label it with tenths to label it also with equivalent hundredths. Then we plot our decimals. 38 hundredths is a little less than 4 tenths. 6 tenths comes a little bit more than halfway. Now when I look at my number line, the number that is closest to the whole is the larger number. So here I see that 6 tenths is closer to the whole, which means that it is greater than or larger than 38 hundredths. So 6 tenths is greater than 38 hundredths. So this is how we can use a number line to compare decimals. So the next strategy that we learned is going to be our most important strategy. This is using place value to compare. This is going to be our most important strategy because it is the most efficient. That means if we do it well, it will take us the least amount of time. So in order to use this strategy, we first start by lining up our place values. So I rewrite my numbers and I'm going to stack them. When I stack them, I make sure that really neatly my ones place is lined up, my tenths place is lined up, my hundredths place is lined up, the decimal points are lined up. This is a really good opportunity to use graph paper to make sure you're writing them really neatly and lining them up. Then we start and we look at our largest place value. So we're going to start in the ones place in this problem, and we're going to look at just the ones place. So if you want, you can cover up all the other place. So you can use your hand and hide the other place values so that you're only looking at one at a time. So here I'm looking 
0 and 0 are the same. That means I cannot use the ones place to compare. I need to move over to the next place value. So now I'm looking at the tenth place. Hmm, these are different. I can use this place value to compare. So 5 tenths is larger than 4 tenths. 5 is larger than 4. This tells me that this number in total is bigger than this number. I don't even need to look at the hundredths place. It doesn't matter because 5 tenths is bigger than 4 tenths. So that tells me that 56 hundredths is going to be bigger than 42 hundredths or 42 hundredths is less than 56 hundredths. Let's look at another example. Here we are comparing 1 and 23 hundredths to 12 and 34 hundredths. So remember my first step is to rewrite my numbers and to line them up. When they, I line them up, I'm making sure that I line up my place values. So here I have my tenths place, my tenths place. There's no tens place in this number, so I am going to put a zero there so that I make sure. That... Okay, so I have my zero there. Now I look at my ones place that are lined up. In 12, there's a two in the ones place. In one, there's a one in the ones place. My tens place are lined up, and my hundreds place are lined up. Now I'm going to start at the biggest place value all the way to the left, and I'm going to compare one at a time. So remember, you can use your hand or you can cover it with a piece of paper like I'm doing, and you're starting at the left. Hmm. When I look at the tens place, in 12 and 34 hundredths, I have a 1. In 1 and 23 hundredths, I have a 0. I can stop. They are different. I know right away that 12 and 34 hundredths is going to be larger because it has a 1 when there is nothing in the 1 and 23 hundredths. That tells me that 1 and 23 hundredths is less than 12 and 34 hundredths. So now we are ready for today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to practice how to order. That means comparing more than two numbers, putting numbers in order from either least to greatest or greatest to least. In this problem, we are going to be doing greatest to least. That means we are putting it in order from biggest to smallest, okay? So just like with comparing numbers, our first step is going to be to line up those place values. So I put them in order, or I didn't put them in order, I just lined them up right now. So I put them all on top of each other, I stack them. And then just with comparing numbers, we're going to look at one place value at a time. So before I do that, I like to do a little trick. I like to set my answer up so that I can write things in as I go. So the first thing I'm gonna do, if I have three numbers, I'm gonna make myself three little lines. And then I'm gonna put my comparison symbols in. If it's greatest to least, I know I need the greater than sign. So I'm gonna put in my greater than signs in between the lines. So now as I go, I can write my numbers right in. So now I'm ready to compare. So I'm going to look at one place value at a time. So I use my piece of paper in my hand and I compare. In the ones place, I have all zeros. I cannot use that place value to compare. So I'm going to move over and look at the tenths place. Hmm. I see that I have two threes and one two. Something's different. Hmm. I can tell right from this place when I'm looking, I'm looking at this tenths place, that two is smaller than these three. So I know that that one is going to be my smallest number. So I can write it into my smallest spot. I can put 28 hundredths into my smallest spot. It is my least big number. So I'm going to write it in right away. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to cross it off from my list because I know I don't need to use it anymore. I don't need to compare. Then I'm going to move to my next place value. Notice I crossed off the top one I don't want to look at anymore. So I'm going to move over to the hundredths place. And now I'm going to compare these two. 
7 and 9. I know that 7 is smaller than 9. So that means that 37 hundredths is my next smallest number. And that means that 39 hundredths is my biggest number. So now I can see that I have them in order from greatest. 39 hundredths is my largest number. It's my greatest number. 39 hundredths is greater than 37 hundredths, which is greater than 28 hundredths. 28 hundredths is my least biggest number. 39 hundredths is my greatest number. Let's look at another example. In this example, it says order from least to greatest. And we have three numbers again, one and 23 hundredths, one and two hundredths, one and eight hundredths. So my first step, I like to line up my place values. Then I'm going to draw my line so I'm ready. Notice in this case, because it's least to greatest, I still have three lines because I have three numbers, but instead of using the greater than sign, I'm using the less than sign because it's least to greatest. So I have a less than sign and I have a less than sign in between my three lines. And now I'm ready to compare. So use your hand or a piece of paper to cover the other place values. So you start at the greatest place value and you look at one at a time. So we're starting in the ones place here and I am comparing. In the ones place, I have all ones. That means I cannot use that place value. So I'm going to cross it off so I don't look at it. Now I'm going to move over and I'm gonna look at the next place value. Hmm, in the tenth place, I have one, two, and two zeros. That tells me this number right here is different. I can put this somewhere. Hmm, two is bigger than zero. So that tells me that this number here, one and 23 hundredths, is going to be my largest number. So I'm going to come and write it into my largest spot. So one and 23 hundredths is my largest value. Okay, now I am done with the tens place. And I am also done with 1 and 23 hundredths. I can't use it anymore. So I'm crossing those off. And I'm going to move over to my hundredths place. Hmm, I have a 2 and an 8. Well, 8 is bigger than 2. That tells me that 1 and 8 hundredths is my next biggest number. And 1 and 2 hundredths is my smallest number. So 1 and 2 hundredths is my least big number. It is less than one and eight hundredths, which is less than one and 23 hundredths. One and 23 hundredths is my greatest value. These numbers are now ordered from least to greatest. Now it's your turn to try. Can you order these decimals from least to greatest? We have one and 25 hundredths, 53 hundredths, and 56 hundredths. So remember our steps. First, you want to line up your place values. Then you want to draw your lines with your comparison symbols. You're going to start at the largest place value. Use a piece of paper or your hand to block the other place values. Compare one place value at all. When you find something that's different, write it in its spot. Cross it out. And then repeat. Keep going. Pause the video, try it, see if you can do it. No, really, I mean, press pause. Go and see if you can compare and order these numbers from least to greatest. Press pause. Press pause. If you haven't pressed pause now, please press pause. Try it. Okay, let's go over it. So remember, my first step was to line up my place values. And then I'm going to go and draw my three lines. It's least to greatest, so I use less than symbols. Now I'm going to compare one place value at a time. So I'm using my piece of paper to hide my other place values or my hands. Okay, and I'm looking here. I see I have two zeros and I have a one. 
something is different. One is larger than zeros. That tells me that one and 25 hundredths is going to be my largest number. So now that I'm done with it, I wrote it into my spot. I can cross it out and I can cross off my ones place because I do not need to look those at those place values anymore. And now I'm going to move my paper over to the next place value. Hmm, I have five and five, five tenths and five tenths. Those are the same. I can't use that place value to compare, so I'm going to cross it off. I'm going to move my paper over again so I look at the next place value. I have a three and a six. Three is smaller than six. That tells me that 53 hundredths is my smallest number and 56 hundredths goes in the middle. So in order from least to greatest, I have 53 hundredths is less than 56 hundredths is less than one and 25 hundredths. Do a self check. Did you get it right? If you did, good job, move forward. If not, maybe you wanna go back and watch again. Maybe you wanna retake notes. Maybe you want to try to go slower, see where you made your mistake. In conclusion, today we learned how to order decimals. Have a great day and I'll see you later.